Welcome. Today we have the 1969 Washington Senators and the 1965 Minnesota Twins. The home team is going to be the Senators and the visiting team is going to be the Twins. The game we're playing is Sabre 2.0. I've already rolled for wind. There's no wind. There's no rain. The manager for the uh, senators is Ted Williams. And over here, you can take a look at his tendencies. Below average use of sacrifice hit. Below average use of stolen base. And slightly below average use of taking extra base hits. Uh, well below average of the hit and run. Get multiple players on base and drive them in with extra base hits. Below average use of pinch hitters, other than for eighth and ninth spawn lineup. Considerable defensible re defensive replacements with lead in later innings after regulars perceived final at bat. Somewhat quicker than average hook on starting pitchers. Heavy use of two or more relievers once starters pulled. Late inning platoon advantage use. Well below average use of intentional walk and heavy use of platooning at catcher, second base, and right field. So I, I previously rolled for the starter. And the starter is going to be Jim Hannon for the Senators. Now, uh, now for the Twins, the uh, the Twin manager was Sal Millet, mate Sal Mil Millet, and uh, and uh, for him I rolled Muckhack Grant's going to be the starter, and Sam Millet's managerial style: average use of sacrifice bunt, average use of stolen base, average use of hit and run, plays more for the big big game. Then one run, pitch hits mostly just for pitchers, uses back catcher Zimmerman and relief of starter Batty in later innings to protect from from fatigue. And average use of starting pitchers will remove before stamina count in close games. Heavy use of bullpen once the starter is removed, almost always pinching for the pitcher. Below average use of intentional walk and Bench players basically help for pinch hitting purposes rather than for pinch running. So now over here I have the chart. Uh, a lot of writing on the chart is laminated, and these are just extra plays you can do. You can put outfield in, hit and run, infield in. You can guard the lines to prevent doubles. And there's other things, other strategies. Uh, you can fo try to, uh, following the base runner, hit, hit behind the runner to advance the runner. So there's a lot of strategies now. If you don't want to use those, all those extra strategies, you don't need to. You can, there's just these basic charts right here. But I like to use have all the strategies available. All right, so the first up, Jim Hannon's going to be pitching to Zolio. So the lineup for the Twins is going to be Zolio Versailles. And he's going to be your doo -doo -doo, Zolio Versailles. It's going to be your shortstop. Rich Rollins is going to be your third baseman. Tony Oliva is going to be your right fielder. Harman Killebrew, first base. Jimmy Hall, center field. Bob Allison, left field. Earl Bette Batty, catcher. Uh, Jerry Kindle is going to be the second baseman. And Mudcat Grant is going to be the pitcher. And uh, one thing I like about this game is that each pitcher has their own uh, pitcher hitting card. All right, so the first batter is going to be Zolio Versailles. And there's the pitch. 25 is going to be uh, grounded into double play, so it's going to be a ground out. We look to the blue to see the location on the location chart. And Versailles is a right-hander. So the uh, ground out is going to be a first base, and that's going to be the first out. G3, one out. Right. So the next batter up is going to be Rich Rollins, the third baseman. And the wind up. And the pitch. So it's going to be 81 for Rich Rollins. So 81 is going to be a hit. Now Jim Hannon subtracts two hits. So you'll take away the 78 and the 79, but 81 is still going to be hit. But now we got a 2 over there. So a 2 
One or two, we get possible special plays. So over here at two, we check to see if either a platoon or a triple X. So I'm going to roll. And the roll is 69. So it's a platoon possibility. Righty versus righty. So that's going to be an advantage of the pitcher. So now we add up the platoon ratings, one and two. So if it's two or less, and it's not, so the hit does go through. So now we roll for the hit. And it's 22 on Rollins card. It's going to be a single. And I can check for the location. And it's going to be a single into left field. So Rich Rollins is not going to be at first base on a single. So we got runner first, one out. And Tony Oliva is going to be hitting. And I don't think we're going to do any special plays. We're just going to swing away. 49 is going to be a line out. And but we got one there, so we'll check for to see if anything is going on. To see if we have a range check or an error check. And 37 is a range check. However, that wasn't a single, so it's just a line out. So for line out, uh, we go to nine. The batter Olivia is a, uh, so it's going to be a line out to the shortstop. L6, and that's going to be two outs. Now Harmon Killebrew is going to be up. Harmon Killebrew. And the one. And the pitch. That's 34. And that's going to be a ground out. Killebrew's a righty. And it's going to be a ground out to third base. Five to three. So one hit, one left on, no runs. And we'll go to the bottom of the first inning with no score. Pitching for the Twins will be Mudcat Grant. And hitting for the Senators will be and hitting for the Senators hitting for the Senators will be the center fielder Dale Unser the right fielder Lee May the left fielder, Frank Howard. The first baseman, Mike Epstein. The third baseman, Ken McMullen. The second baseman, Bernie Allen. The shortstop, Ed Brinkman. The catcher, Paul Casanova. And the pitcher, Jim Hannon. It's going to be up. So, Dell is going to be up. That's the lineup and the pitch time. And it's 0 5. And that's going to be a walk to Dell Unser. So, leadoff batter walks. Mudcat Grant is actually minus 3 to the walks, but it's still a walk. And the pitcher is Lee May, 48. We got a two there. That's a possible pop out. Let's check on two. So on that, we got to check if we have a platoon or a double X or a triple X. So I'm going to roll at 16. So it's a possible platoon. Lefty righty. So that would be an advantage to May. So that could turn a and out into the hit. And it does not. So it was a line out, I believe. Got to roll to see what position. And the line out will be to first base. So we got one out, runner still on first. And Frank Howard now. Del Unser. He steals 14 through 50. The catcher is Earl Batty, and it's minus, Earl Batty's arm is minus 15. So, Del Unser is not going to be running. And now we have the Frank Howard up. And we 
I have 61. And that will be another line out. And zero. Frank Howard's righty, and that's going to be a line out to first baseman. A lot of line outs in this game. Mike Epstein is going to be up. Run over first. 97 will definitely be a hit. Got to see what type of hit it is. Thirty-four. That's going to be a straight single. Now, because there's no plus or minus on it, Unser has a chance to go to third base. Unser's running rating is a fifty-five, but because there are two outs, he's going to get a bonus to that running rating. I think it's going to be a plus. Let's see. Bonus to running. I think it's going to be a plus 15 to that running, so that becomes 70. And I've got to see what field that is, too. That's four. And it's a lefty. So it's going to be right fielder. The right fielder is going to be Olivier. He's going to add one, so it's going to be up to 75. And he's going to take it to third. And 66, so he does. So we'll have runs of first and third with two outs. And Ken McMullen's going to be up. And the lineup. And the pitch to Ken McMullen. And it is 67 and 61. And 61 is going to be a fly out. Zero pops up. He's a righty. And it's going to be a fly out to right field for the third out. So after one complete, we have no score. And now, coming up to bat will be Jimmy Hall. And Jim Hammond's going to be pitching to Jimmy Hall. And here's the lineup. And the pitch. And that's 63, that is going to be a fly out. And we have a lefty. It's going to be a fly out to right field, one out. Next up will be Bob Allison, the left fielder for the Twins. The lineup and the pitch, the roll is 72. 72 is going to be a fly out. We have a righty with eight, and it's going to be fly out to center field, two outs. Now we have the catcher, Earl Batty. Bat, B-A-T-T-Y, Batty. And line up in the pitch, it's a zero five, which will be a walk. So Earl Batty will be at first base. For, so run on first, two outs. Jerry Kindle. Will be the bat. Will be the batter. He's the second baseman for the Twins. Oops. His hits are from 83 to double zero. Extra base hits from 73 to zero. So 67 is going to be a fly out, and that is going to be a fly out to left field, and that's going to be the third out. So we're going to go to the bottom of the first inning. With no score at uh, JFK Stadium. So first up, we'll for the Senators and the bottom second inning will be Bernie Allen. Mike Cat Grant is pitching. He's going to pitch to Bernie Allen. And we get rule 17. And 17 will be a strikeout to Bernie Allen. And we get one out. Next up will be Ed Brinkman. He's the shortstop for the Senators. And the windup and the pitch. And it's 100, so that's definitely going to be a hit. But we got a two, so we could have some action here. So let's roll this. So we, the platoon wouldn't make a difference because it's, oh, oh my cat grand, if it's a platoon. And it's ready versus ready. There's a chance that the platoon will make a change. But it's not. It's a 99, so we get on the triple X chart. 
So I'm gonna roll on the triple, the triple X chair, and it's 21. If K umpire makes wrong call, change result to base on ball. But it wasn't. It wasn't a hit. So it was a hit, not a strikeout. So we have to roll to see what kind of hit it is. And we get 57, and that's going to be a straight single. So Brinkman will be on first base. One out. And Paul Casanova, the catcher, will be up. One out, run on first. And the windup. And the pitch. Grant's going to pitch to Casanova. 61. And that is going to be a fly out, a shallow fly out. So, with two outs, Jim Hannon is going to be hitting. Run on first. And it's going to be 0 5, and that's going to be an easy strikeout. That should be an easy strikeout, right? Where's the chart? Uh, wait one moment. Right here. So this right here is the the adjustments right here. This little card right here. So we rolled zero five. Muck Cat Grant is minus two strikeouts. So if you look on the card, lowest strikeouts become ground ball, but that's three and four, so that is a strikeout. And that's three outs. So now We'll go to the top of the top of the third inning for the Minnesota Twins. Hand's going to be pitching to the pitcher Mudcat Grant. Okay. And the lineup and the pitch. Zero nine is going to be a strikeout, but Hannon loses four strikeouts. So. I believe that's going to be a ground ball. So that's going to be a ground ball. And zero is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. So it's going to be up G3. And he'll step on it. So that's Mike Epstein. So now we have Zolio versus a shortstop. For the Twins. 15 is definitely going to be a strikeout, but we have a 2. So we got to roll to see if we go to that triple X chair. At 79, so we do go to the triple X chair. And we got 83. If any out other than K, automatic error check. However, the out was a strikeout, so we get two outs. And now we got Rich Rollins is going to be up. And he's so my cat Grant switches to Rich Rollins. And we got 10. 10 would be a strikeout, but Jim Hannon has minus 400 strikeouts, so that's going to be a ground ball with a 5. And he is a. That's going to be a 6 to 3. So we go to the bottom of the third inning. And the top of the lineup will be up for the Senators. So we're going to have going up will be Del Unser, uh, May, and Howard. Del Unser's Mudcat Grant is going to be pitching to Del Unser. And there's the pitch, 44. And that's ground out, and the ground out will be to the first baseman. So it's G3, one out. Now we get May up. So Lee May, and the wind up. Mike can't grant, and the pitch. 66, and that's going to be a fly ball. But now I forgot, we have to do, see if it is a fly ball or if it becomes a ground ball. 
So I'm going to roll 1 through 50, it becomes a ground ball. It remains a fly ball. So number one, we made a lefty, and that's going to be a fly to right field. One out, two outs. So now we have Frank Howard is going to be up for the Senators. And Grant's going to be pitching to Frank Howard. 63. And that is going to be another fly ball. I'm just going to roll. Make sure it wasn't turned into a ground ball. Yeah, it's a fly ball. And that is going to be a fly ball to left field. So we're going to go to the top of the fourth inning. No score. And now we got Jim Hannon will be pitching to Tony Oliva, Frank Robbins, uh, Hiram Killebrew, and Hall. Hannon. The lineup. Hannah switches the ball. It's 78. That will be a hit, but we get a two. So, probable hit. And we got 24. Will be a platoon check, but, a, but we have righty pitcher, lefty batter, so that won't help the batter because it's already a hit. So now we got to see what the hit's going to be. And it's 87. And that will be a double by Tony Oliva. So that will be a double by Tony Oliva to lead off the fourth inning. So Oliva will be at second base. Kilbrew will be up. Oliva stealing third base. The catcher for the Senators is Batty. Maddie's minus 15, so there's no thought of stealing third base. So, Kilbrew hits. 73 is going to be a fly plus. Now, for fly plus, I don't want to see that second base. So, fly plus, you now go to the park, go to the park card. So, we're playing in the Senator Stadium. So there we have it. All right. So now, let's see. It's a straight fly plus. Oh, where am I adjusting cards? I don't believe there are any, uh, yeah. How many fly pluses? He does have just one, so it's gonna be plus 10 to the dice roll. No, there's more than one, so it's gonna be plus only minus 10 to the dice roll. There's no win factor. So we got 20, so it is going to be a fly out. I believe that was already there. So zero. So it is going to be a fly out. And it's going to be a fly out to righty. It's going to be a fly out to right field. Now for tagging up. For tagging up. I don't actually have all my tagging up charts, which is unfortunate. So I'm just going to leave him at second base for the time being. Right. So Oliva is going to stay at second base. Harman Killebrew with the long fly ball. Now Jimmy Hall is going to be up. And it's 55. 55 is going to be a line out. And that is going to be a line out to sec, no, second baseman L4. Two outs. And now Bob Allison is going to be up for the Twins. And it's going to be 52. That's going to be a ground out. And that is ground out is going to be a shortstop, six to three. So that's the third out. And after four complete innings, we have no score. Okay. So Mudcat Grant's going to be pitching to Epstein.
it down there. Two machines. All right. So now we have Mike Epstein's going to be up. Mike Cat Grant is going to be pitching to Epstein. And the wind up. And the pitch. 97 is going to be a hit. 97 is going to be a hit for Mike Epstein. We're going to have to roll to see what about it. 0 2. So that is going to be a short single for Mike Epstein. He's going to be on first base. No thought of him stealing bases because we have a T. There's a minus 15 to catch it. Kenneth Mullen's going to be up. Bottom of the fourth here. 12. 12 is going to be a strikeout, but that is going to be a ground out because my cat, my cat Grant is minus 2. So it's going to be a ground out. 2. We get a right hander up. So it's going to be 6 to 4. Now, the Mike Epstein has a chance to beat the throw. So 39 or less, and he beats the throw, but we also take into account the arms. So it's going to be minus 10. So he's going to, so in order to prevent the double play, he's going to have to roll 29 or less in order to prevent the double play. So let's see if Epstein can beat the throw and prevent a double play. Nope. 6, 4, 3. He is out. And we have two away. And now Bernie Allen is going to be out. And there's the pitch. 41 would be a ground ball. But we have to roll to see if there's an error chance here. Because it's a one. So error will be 65 to zero. And it's no error. So it's going to be an out from five to three. And that's it, the bottom of the fourth inning. So now we go to the top of the fifth inning. And we still have no score here in Washington, D.C. Up will be bottom of the order for the Twins. Uh, Batty, Kindle, and Mudcat Grant. So hands pitching to Batty. 74, that would be a hit. But Hannon removes two hits, so that's going to be a fly out. And that's going to be a fly out to right field. One out. Because Hannon prevents two hits. Hannon prevents two hits. He allows a lot of walks, so that's his thing. And Hannon will pitch the Kindle. 96 will be a hit for Kendall. Got to roll to see what type it is. And we got 76 is going to be a double for Kendall. So Kendall is going to be on second base with the double. Now we have Mudcat Grant up. Mudcat Grant is only a B bunter. He gets butt and he's a 130 hitter. 87 to double zero. The infield's going to come in. And it's not going to but turn it away. Maybe foolish, but 39 is going to be grounded in a double play. However, the runner's on second. So let's see. Three, and he's a righty. So five to three runner holds. So out. Zolio Verse is going to be up. And with two outs, we're in second. And the pitch. That's 31. And that's going to be a straight ground ball. And the ground ball is going to be hit to third base. Is that one? Ground ball is going to be hit to the pitcher. One to three. Three outs. Very quick moving game today, I'm going to say. All right. So now the Twins are coming up. Mudcat Grant is going to be pitching to Binkman. Uh, Brinkman, Ed Brinkman. And wind up. And pitch. 11. It's going to be, a, would, uh, would be a strikeout. But it's not a strikeout because Mudcat Grant has minus two strikeouts, so it's going to be a ground ball. 
The ground ball is going to be hit to shortstop, six to three, one out. Next up is going to be Paul Casanova. And it's going to be 34. That's going to be a brown up. We've got a one. So it would be an out, but we got to see if we have an error check on it. And 99 is an error check. So the ball is going to be hit to, we have a right-hander. The ball is going to be hit to shortstop. Now, the shortstop error rating is Versailles, and he's a five. So let's see. So five or below, it's going to be an error, and it is not an error, so it's now six to three, a second six to three out. All right, so Versailles is pretty, well, actually kind of weak, but, so Jim Hannon is going to be up, Grant's going to be pitching to Hannon, and we get 33, strike three, easy out. So we're going to go to the top of the fifth, and we got a score of nothing, nothing. So up for the Twins is going to be Rollins, Olivier, and Killebrew. And the pitch is 12. That's going to be a strikeout for Rollins. But wait, so look, he's wrong. Hammond's minus 4, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So he does strike out. 8 through 18 is Rollins' strikeout. However, Hannon has, Hannon has minus four strikeouts, which means he strikes out less. So eight, nine, 10, and 11 are not strikeout, become ground balls. So it is a strikeout because we rolled a 12. So now we got Tony Oliva and the pit. And we got 43. 43 will be a ground out. 43, we got a ground out, but again, we're going to have an error check. We might have an error check, so let's see. And 65 is an error check. And the person fielding the ball is going to be the shortstop again. So now, the shortstop for the Senators is Brinkman. So if it's six or below, Brinkman will get an error. Roll it, and it is an error on Brinkman. So let's see, we have the error chart right here, uh, and it's a ground ball to initial fielder on field or throw to base. All right, so we got to roll to see what type of error it is, and it's 79. 79 is a fielding error, back to first base. So. Ed Brinkman can't get the grasp on that ball. Olivia goes to first base, and we have Killebrew up again. Killebrew is 0 for 2. Hands pitching. Ken strikes out very few. He's minus 4 strikeouts. He's minus 2 to hits. Minus plus 5 to base on ball, so he walks a lot. So we get 10. 10 is going to be a walk. And Kilbrew will go first base. So we have runners at first and second. One out. Hannon gives up a lot of walks. And Kilbrew walks quite a bit. So, all right. So we Jimmy Hall is up. 55 is going to be a line drive to. Jimmy Hall's lefty. It's going to be a line drive to shortstop. Two outs. And now up, Bob Allison. Allison's up. Hands pitching pretty good here. Knock on wood. 65 is going to be a fly out. But I want to roll because to see his hand is a ground ball pitcher. And it is a fly out. You got a zero. Fly out for the right is going to be the right field. So opposite field fly out. We're going to go to the bottom of the sixth, and no, still no score. 
very, very pitcher stool game. I don't always have pitcher stools, but it's good. Okay, so my cat Grant is going to be pitching to Del Unser. 96 is going to be a hit for Unser. Got to see what type of hit it is. And 38 is going to be a straight single. So Del Unser leads off the inning with a single. And Lee May is going to be up. I don't want to try hitting run because we have a really good catcher. Do we actually? Yeah, we have Batty is catching. So we have 0 6. Now that would be a walk. So let's see. Looking on the card. Lowest walks become ground balls. So one, two, or three is a ground ball. So that will be a walk. So we have runners on first and second base. Nobody out. And Frank Howard is going to be hitting. Mudcat Grant can pitch to 31 batters. He's been through the lineup twice, so he's only pitched to 18 batters. So Now let's look on the manager's Tennessee's card. Uh, average use of starting pitchers. Heavy use of bullpen once start. So there's there's a call at this point to remove Grant. 38 is going to be possible grounded in a double play. Yep. So the grounded is going to be grounded in the double play. It's going to be six to four to three. But Renault will go with third base four to three. So we'll have a runner on third with two outs. And Mike Epstein. So Mike Cat Grant. Mike Epstein. Now you can make rules about pitching around batters. And that's something, something that you could do. Pitch around batters. But I haven't made up that rule yet. So I'm just going to play. So Mike Cat Grant is pitching to Mike Epstein. 86 is a hit for Mike Epstein. So let's roll for what plate. So that will bring in a run. 40. So that'll be a single plus. So Mike Epstein. Mike Epstein is actually three for three in this game. And gives the Senators a one to nothing lead. And Ken McMullen will be up runner in first. And the pitch to McMullen. 17. And that will be a strikeout. So the Senators get a run. And after six full, the score is Senators six, Senators one, Twins nothing. Bottom will be Minnesota order will be up. So now Earl Batty, Batty will be pitching 72. And 72 now, because Hannon's a minus hits. <laughs> if Hannon was a plus two hit, that would be a hit, but it's not. It's just a fly out. So Batty. Writing four, and that'll be a fly out to left field. Next up will be Jerry Kendall, the second baseman, hoping for a hit here. And the pitch, 20, uh, nope, strikeout. And Jim Hannon pitching very, very well. And my cat Grant is going to be up. And the pitch, 91. Oh, that is a hit. So, that minus two on hand, so Mudcat Grant has hits from 87 to 100. Jim Hannon is minus two for hits, so that makes Mudcat Grant's hits from 89 to 100. But Mudcat Grant rolled a 91. So now we have to roll to see what type it is. And it's a 99, so Mudcat Grant hits a triple. And it goes into the corner, and Mudcat Grant helps his own cause with a triple. So with two outs, we got a runner on third. And Zoyo Versailles. Versailles. Vers I'm going to call it Versailles. And 92, Versailles gets a hit. And we go for Versailles hit. And 32 is a straight single. And that will bring home Mudcat Grant. Okay, so now... Now we gotta take a look at, so Hannon is eligible to be tired. 
you spin two, so one, two, three, 27. So Hannon actually is tired. So Hannon is tired. That means that the Senators are gonna to have to go to the bullpen. Is Hannon just tired on that single? So especially since somewhat quicker than average hook on starting pitchers. Uh, heavy use of two or more relievers once one starter is pulled late any platoon advantage used. So he's going to come out and Senators are going to have to have another pitcher come in because he is tired. So Grant's going to come out and Grant's out. Where's this? Who's my Senators? Here's my Senators. And I'm going to have Daryl Knowles going to come in. Daryl Knowles is going to come in. So, Daryl, R-O-L-D, K-N-O-W-L-E-S is going to come in. Daryl Knowles. And his fielding is going to be a 2-2. Okay, so Mudcat Grant comes out. You gotta remove his pitching card and replace it with hitting card and replace it with Knowles's. And now, actually, no, Mudcat Grant is still pitching. <laughs> it was Hannon who came out. Uh, so Knowles is gonna come in, and Knowles is gonna have to replace Hannon's card. Hands out of the game. Okay. Where did Hannah go? Oh, okay. Other side. So now Knowles will be pitching a roll. Ground first, two outs, one more game. 43 is a ground ball. And Rawls is ready. Ground ball, 5-3. So, seventh inning stretch, we have a 1 1 game here. Which Rollins made the last out. So now we're going to have Mudcat Grant still rolling. And he is going to be pitching to Zolio Versa. No, yes. He's going to be pitching to Bernie Allen, I believe. Bernie Allen. So he's going to be pitching to Bernie Allen. Actually, let's see what we got here. Let's get Alan Brinkman, Casanova, Knowles, Unser, May, Howard, Epstein, and McMullen. Yeah, that works. And for the twins, we have Olivia, Killebrew, Hall, Allison, Batty, Kindle, Grant, Versailles, and Rollins. Okay, I was confused because Versailles or Versal is on both teams. All right. So we got Mudcat Grant is going to be pitching to Bernie Allen. And the pitch is a possible hit for Allen. But let's see if we can have a range play over here. Possible hit for Allen. But if it's 1 through 64, we're going to have to have to do a range check. And it is 60, hit, hit, 63. So it is a range check. So five, and Allen's lefty on a hit. So range check, consult position, shortstop. So we check the shortstop, Versailles. Versailles is a six. So six or below, and the shortstop, Versailles, saves a hit. And he does, six to three. And it is. He steals it. The hit becomes a uh, uh, changes. Rachel's a single, and it's just the ground in a double place. It's six to three. One up. Six to three. So Versailles saved a run there. Now we got Ed Brinkman. It's going to be up. And 40. 40 is going to be a ground out. And the righty, that's going to be ground out four to three. 
two outs, and we have Paul Casanova is going to be up. And I'm checking Ted Williams, how he handles his pinch hitters. Below average use of pinch hitters other than eighth or ninth spot in the lineup. Right, so we're not going to take a pinch hitter. 70, and that is going to be a fly out, but I want to check to see if it becomes a ground out. Nope, it is a fly out. And it's going to be a fly out to right. So we have right hander. It's going to be a fly out to right field. F9. So top of the eighth. And the score is 1-1. One to one. And Knowles will pitch to Oliva. And then Killebrew is going to be up. And one. And the pitch. 77. That is a hit by Oliva. And we got to roll to see what it is. And it's 74, and that's going to be a double. So Tony Oliva gets his second double of the game. He is two. Tony Oliva is two for four. He also got on with the error by Ed Brinkman. And Carmen Killebrew is up. Now... Let's, let's say that Ted Williams plays the percentages. But we have Hall up lefty, so he's going to... Nolte's going to play Killebrew. There's very, very little platoon advantage for Killebrew. For Killebrew, that's equally well against right here lefties. So 25. And that's strike three. Daryl Knowles gets Killebrew out. And now, now the Hall, lefty Jimmy Hall, he's going to pitch two. Hall has a huge platoon advantage, so it's one and three, so four. So what happens is if we roll a two, and then we roll a one through 75, possible platoon advantage for the pitcher Knowles if it's a hit, and we roll a six-sided dice, and one through four, that hit becomes an out because of platoon advantage. So here's the pitch. 53, but that won't matter. It's going to be a pop out, and it's going to be a pop out to third base. No, lefty, pop out to first base. Okay, two outs. Bob Allison is going to be up. And the wind up. And the pitch. 11 is going to be a walk, and Olds has no adjustments on his walk, so. Base on balls. Still for, no, that's gonna be first and second. Earl Batty is gonna be up. Batty's righty. So we got righty, 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 righty. All right, so, but there is no big platoon advantage for Batty, so. 27, and that's gonna be a ground ball. That should end the inning. Ground ball is gonna be four to three for the third out. So, exciting game here. We're going to go to the top of the ninth. No, let's see. All right, All right so, that was, so we're going to go to the bottom of the eighth. And Batty is out. And Mudcat Grant is still going strong. He's going to pitch to the pitcher. Knowles is not going to leave the game for a pinch hitter. And who is going to be pitching for Daryl Knowles? That's the question. So Knowles is going to come out. There's Knowles is hit pitching card. There he is. Knowles is out. And we're looking for the right-hander. Dennis Higgins is going to come in. So Dennis Higgins will be in, but now we need a pinch hitter. And let's see who our pinch hitters are. These are pitchers, are pinch hitters. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Senators, pinch hitters. Yeah, there we go. Now, okay, so I'm going to send in Hank Allen is going to pinch hit. Hank Allen is going to pinch hit. Hank Allen is going to pinch hit. For Daryl Knowles. Hank Allen. 
I'm just going to pinch it. It's going to be the eighth inning for Daryl Knowles. 80. That is going to be a hit, but we got to do that platoon check. I should have brought a lefty possibly. 89, so it's not going to be a platoon check, but we are going to check on the triple X track. We get 61. Is it a K? No, it was not a K. What was it? Uh, it was a hit? Was it a hit? Yeah, it was a hit. It was a hit. And on first, on all singles, roll one die six. Roll six becomes a K, so. Roll dice, nope. All right, so that's a single. So, Hank Allen singles. He's gonna be on first base. And now Del Unser is gonna be up. So run on first. One out. One, two, three. 78. That will be a hit. Gotta see what type of hit, hit it is for Del Unser. And it's 19, so it's gonna be a short single for Del Unser. Runner goes to second. Still nobody out. Runner first to second, nobody out. And we got Lee May up. So the Senators are challenging. I'm going to check the manager for the Twins. Average to starting pitcher will really move before stand the count and close game. All right, so he's out of there. So Grant's going to be out. See, so we got lefty, righty, lefty, and righty. Uh, but a big platoon advantage if he brings in a lefty. So Mudcat Grant is going to come out. Mudcat Grant is going to come out. And he is going to be replaced by, I want that lefty righty advantage, don't we? Don Mitch, is no, Mitch is a hitter. <laughs> Where's our pitchers? Jerry Fosnow is gonna come in. So Jerry Fosnow is coming in for the Twins to pitch. Jerry Fosnow. So we're looking for that lefty ready advantage. So plus two, plus one. So there's a huge platoon advantage here. Now the infield's gonna be playing in not, nothing fancy about the infield. The infield's gonna be regular 66. And that is gonna be a fly out to, we have a lefty center field. So it's a fly out to center field now. Do I want to have do I want to have no Allen Hank Allen uh, tag up? No, because Jimmy Hall has a minus ten, so it'd be forty seven or above. So now Frank Howard's going to be up. One out. Ninety two. That's what they needed. Ninety two is a hit by Frank Howard, and is thirty five, and that is going to be a single. Now, there's nothing so, the runner will have an option of going the extra base to home. And the single will be to right, left hand, right hand batter to left field. So that will be a single to left field. Uh, yep, yeah. Frank Howard singles to left field. And other than that, the bases will be loaded unless I decide to send the left fielder. Allison's a minus 10. I'm not going to send Allison because he's a minus 10. So, bases loaded, one out. Very fast now. 73 will be a fly out. But it's FOI plus. So, we got to see what it is because it could be a home run here. So. Foss now adds nine to the dice roll. And that'll be minus 10, because it's just a fly ball, not a home run. So we check on the, on the ballpark card. So it'll be 
minus one to the dice roll. It'd be minus one to the dice roll. Because Jerry Foss now is plus nine to home runs, but it's a deep fly ball, not a home run rating. So here we go. 91 home run, Mike Epstein. Mike Epstein, blast that out of here. Mike Epstein is what? He is a left-handed, a left-handed, yep, 46 through zero. And that is a grand slam. Mike Epstein, four run, home run. And all of a sudden, the Minnesota Twins lead is now five to one on a grand slam. Home run by Mike Epstein. Yay, okay. Well, first now is going to settle down, take a deep breath. He's allowed a single and a home run. Uh, they're not going to bring in another pitcher. Well, there's only one out. You're going to stick with Foss now. Uh, 38, ground ball, but there is a possible. It's a ground ball out, but if we get a platoon rating, there's a possible, although slight chance that we'll get and not be out. So 81 is gonna be a triple X. It's not gonna be a platoon. And we're gonna see what happens on the triple X. 22. If K umpire makes wrong call, change result to base on balls, but it is not a K. So, what do we have? We had a we had a ground out, I believe, right? Ground out, and it was seven. And we have ready up, so it's ground out, six to three. So, two, three, two outs, and now we have Bernie Allen up for the Senators, and the pitch. Seventy-three. It's going to be a fly out, and again, it's going to be fly ball plus. You're going to add one to the dice roll, All right? Because it's going to be minus 10, but it's going to be plus 9, so it's only going to be minus 1 to the dice roll. And then we have a lefty up. 65 is a home run! <laughs> and that is a home run by Bernie Allen. Fosnow came in here. That's giving up two big home runs. And that will end the day for him because obviously he has nothing, unfortunately. So, Foss now out. And we need a pinch hit, a pinch, pinch pitcher, another pitcher. Foss now out. Coming to pitch for the Twins will be Mel Nelson. Mel Nelson will come in to pitch for the Twins. Mel Nelson. Mel Nelson. Uh, get Grant. Mel. Mel Nelson's going to come in to pitch for the Twins. And uh, he will face. Brinkman and maybe Casanova. So Brinkman's up. Two outs. Twins have a six. Uh, Sanchez have a six to one lead. Seventy three. Nelson adds two hits. So Nelson adds two hits. Seventy three. Highest two fly balls become a hit. So seventy five. And 74 become a hit. 73 does not become a hit. So, and he's already, so it's going to be a fly out to left, right field. So, five big runs for the Washington Senators at the bottom of the eighth inning. And we go to the top of the ninth inning. What? The Senators up six to one off the grand slam by the cleanup hitter Epstein. Okay, so do up for the twins. Schedule for the twins will be Kindle. However, trying to bring in a pinch hitter. Don, I think Don Minchu is going to come in. 
Dawn Mitch is going to come in for Kindle. Trying to keep the hope alive here. Now, who was pitching? So we removed Allen, and that was a smart move. So we put Hank Allen, so now we need another pitcher for the another pitcher for the Senators. So I'll come in to pitch will be and get the save. Will be Dave Baldwin. We'll come in to pitch for Dave. Dave Baldwin's coming in to pitch for the Senators. Now Baldwin is minus two to the hits, the opponent's hits, plus three walks, plus he has plus three Ks, plus one hit by pitch, plus one hit balls, minus two to the home run. So John Mincher is gonna be up. Zero nine is gonna be a walk for Mincher. So base on ball. So we got the lead runner on and now up will be another pinch hitter for the Twins. Let's see who else can we bring in. Sandy Valdespino is going to come in here. Sandy Valdespino is going to come hit. All right, so Sandy Valdespino right up. And the pitch. 52 is going to be a pop out to the third baseman. So we got one out, run on third. We'll go over the top of the order and Julio Versailles for the Twins. Okay. That's where is the Twins lineup? Twins lineup. That's the Senators lineup. Give me a minute. Where did the Twins lineup go? Kimbo. Solio Versailles is going to be up for the Twins. Yeah, because we had just had two pinch hitters. That's what it is. Okay. So, run first. Run up. Big bald one. Pitch to Zolio. 59 is going to be a straight fly ball into center field. So that's going to be two outs. And last up is going to be Rich Rollins. Dave Baldwin will pitch to Rich Rollins. And the pitch. 47 is a pop out to the third baseman McMullen. But we have to see if we get anything on the triple X. So let's roll. And 93, so we are going to the triple X chart. There is a runner on base. And we get 74. So 74 is a pass ball check, because we have a runner on base. So the catcher's Paul, Paul Casanova, and his pass ball rating is a five. And that is a pass ball. So Don Mincher is gonna go to second base on a pass ball. Dave Baldwin's throwing some heat. And Paul Casanova turns it up and catch up with that. And the pitch is gonna be 47, and it's gonna be a pop out. And it's gonna be a pop out to the Pop out to the shortstop, but we do need to see if there's an error check on that. And there we go. 30, no, it's a range check. So it's pop out to the shortstop. That is the third out. And the final score here at RFK Stadium is the Washington Senators, six, and the Minnesota Twins, one. Big hitters, Epstein. Epstein was four for four with the Grand Slam home run, and he has five RBIs. So the cleanup hitter for 
the Senators did very, very well. And for pitching for the Senators, Hannon pitched pitch one, two, three, four, five, six, six and two thirds innings. Was only responsible for one run. And the save is going to go to uh, the save is going to go to Dave Baldwin. And also pitching hitting well is center fielder Unser. Unser was two runs, uh, two for three with the walk. And Allen also and Barry Allen also had a home run to account for the other for the other run for the Senators for the Twins. Uh, Mudcat, for the Twins, Mudcat Grant helped his own cause with a triple, and we all fit hit him home. Well, that is all for today. Thank you very much. The next game will be tomorrow, and it will be the 69 Orioles at the 75 Reds. It should be a great game.